it's Lisa. I'm continuing with my Use It and Move It uh, series and th with this set that's not that old a one from Stampin' Up. I don't know if it's still current or not. Uh, but it's called For the Birds. It was just so cute I couldn't resist it. And I bought it. I've made cards for uh, people that I know and people that I don't really know but I've kind of used it and I want to do one more card at least of each one, maybe two, uh, to put in my stash and then I'm ready to move it out of my space. So I'll be putting this one up for sale somewhere, I know. Um, the way I approach cards where I'm going to color an image, a lot of times is I pick out my, my designer paper, then I pick my colors to go with that for coloring, color the images, and then figure out how I want to arrange them. So I've picked some 6x6 six six papers uh, here that I had that I kind of wanted to move out of my stash. Um, I think these are Echo Park, but I'm not sure. I've kind of broken them down and I don't remember. Uh, but uh, got lots of yellows and pinks and aquas uh, colors here. I picked a few papers to go with them and I have cut white cardstock two inches by two and a half and I think that'll be a good size to get uh, most of these uh, on. So I'm just going to stamp and color several images. I'll do a little bit of this on camera and then once I get them colored we'll come back and we'll start seeing how we can pull these different papers together into some card designs. I did two of most things, but I went ahead and did four of these. These I'm not going to color right away. I'm just going to put them in my folder with all my Christmas stuff, and then maybe they'll end up on some cards uh, later on. So for now, let's pick something and start doing some coloring for this. I have all of my images colored in now, sticking with the pink and yellow and aqua color scheme. And what I've decided to do is, you know, I'm just going to leave these all as the two inch by two and a quarter inch size. Some of them could probably be trimmed down, but it'll just be easier to cut all my mats. I'm going to mat all of them, and I've created some sketches, some quick sketches, uh, simple sketches, so that I can wrap up these cards. And these could be used with any type of stamped image where you, you know, you had something, you stamped it, cut it out, and j then just used your different designer papers. And so I'm going to be working with the six by six papers and deciding which ones that I want to use where. So I think the, the next thing that I'm going to do is take each of these and I'm going to mat them in cardstock. Um, I like to do that and I like to use cardstock bases, um, typically a color. Occasionally I do white. I used to use a lot of the Naturals white, Naturals ivory that Stamping Up had. They don't have that anymore. Um, but I mostly use the colors for my cardstock bases. So I'm not going to worry about the color of the bases too much. I may go ahead and pull a few more besides this pretty and pink out so I'll have some to, to play with. Uh, but mainly I want to get these matted. And I'm just going to do a variety of pink and yellow and and I think I'm going to stick mostly with the pink and yellow. There's not a ton of aqua in here. Uh, I may do a little bit with that to give it some variety, but I'm not going to worry too much about matching everything up at this point. Just go ahead and get the mats on there so it'll be really fast to pull the cards together. And the mats, I will just cut them probably a quarter of an inch larger, so that's going to be two and a quarter by uh, two and a half at the most uh, for the size of these. So I have a bunch of different colors um, cut here for the mats, and I'm just semi-randomly <laughs> matching them up. We're going to glue all of those on. We're going to start with the one that has some um, semi-circles as part of the design, because it's going to take a fair amount of paper. So I want to be sure I have enough paper to get that in, and I thought this would be a good use of that floral. And remember, I'm doing two of each of these cards, so some of these things I have to go ahead and cut. 
and I'll just be doing bits and pieces of the assembly here on camera because some of this is very basic cutting rectangles and things and gluing stuff down but I think you'll get to see a little bit of each of the cards as they come together This paper I'm using the back side of something I had originally planned to use the other side of. So just a little bit of swapping around, but I did not add any additional 6x6 six six papers. The ones I had out there originally, I may have used the back side of something, but I, those are all the papers I used. I never added anything more to this. And you'll see at the end that I used almost every scrap of them. Using my corner rounder to uh, round the pieces of paper on the front of the card as well as the card itself. And this card needed to be folded at the top because it's going to have some trim going around it. I'm using the paper piercing pack to um, add a little scallop design across the bottom of this card. And then I'll just be tying some twine across it. Now that second card on the sheet of sketches uses a bunch of different um, rectangles and I have drawn some t washi tape going across them. I end up making a couple of cards with the washi tape and one without just to kind of see how it looks. I made three of these. Now I'm also for some of the cards using a scallop design. This is the, not the smallest scallop punch, but I think the second size one and then the round punch to get some of the designs there. I'll have to put the set name on the screen for you that I'm using for these. It's a set I picked up at Goodwill really inexpensively. I think it may have been a hostess set or something at one time, but I really like it. It's not one I plan to sell. This is a, a set that I'm going to be keeping. I'm just adding this design to one of the cards along with some trim, the very first card on the sheet. And for that second card I need some washi tape, so I'm just picking out a few colors and then patterns that I liked, again keeping with the same color scheme. So there's the first card. It had a little washi on it as well. It could have been ribbon. I chose to use washi. And then these uh, second cards I did uh, some washi tape on some of the rectangles. Nice thing about washi is you can put it on, take it off, typically, and you know play around with it a little bit. And it keeps the cards very flat. And this last card also is going to have some of that scallop design. I'm going to use the one that says friend there. The friend part won't show. I just need the, little, the scallop design um, to show behind the card. And I was really getting low on paper at this point to find something that worked. And I think I used two different papers for the last uh, card because I didn't have enough left of any one thing. <laughs> I'm off camera doing a little bit of cutting here. And this is quickly going to wrap these up. The only difference in these two is the trim. I just used a little bit different uh, baker's twine here um, that I thought went better with the papers that I was using. So we have five different, oh, and this, these two, which I was sharing earlier, one I did washi tape and one uh, without. But uh, I have, I made 10 cards total. I have five different styles. And then this is the, the sketches that I used. And I just added a little bit of trim here and a little bit here. And that's about it. Stuck pretty much to uh, the different designs. So we'll do just a quick close up look at these. Very simple cards. 
Got to use my For the Birds set one more time. Now this one does still need one more thing. I need to put, uh, it has a little birdie told me and then it has it's your birthday, which I'm gonna stamp on the inside uh, for that card. The others, I don't really think I have anything from this set necessarily to put on the inside. And the only other thing out of here, I'd stamp the Merry Christmas and put in my uh, Christmas uh, pack of things. So I might use that later on. The Miss You, I stamped a couple of those and I realized that I really didn't have a good use for those except when my husband travels um, to see his family sometimes I will include little cards in his uh, luggage and I, I'm pretty, I've used this one before I know I could use it again so I have a couple of those uh, that I may put aside for that reason but otherwise um, I probably don't have a good uh, use for the Miss You ones but um, I used that I probably did put some of those on the Operation Right Home cards when I that's one of the reasons I bought this set and I used it for some of those cards but anyway it's a cute set I had fun doing the cards used very little or very few sheets of six by six paper and this is and maybe one little strip. This is what's left of those six by six sheets. Really not much left uh, but I got a lot of cards out of it and um, a lot of fun doing those. So thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you will uh, check out some of my other videos while you're here and if you're not a subscriber I would love to have you subscribe. Thanks again.